Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I make videos about cameras, photography, and all that good stuff. Today, we are going to compare the KNF Concept Tripod uh, Model S210 versus just the regular old Amazon Basics tripod. Fight. I think this is an interesting comparison because one is $90 and has some cool features. And then the other is the tried and true Amazon Basics tripod, which I myself have had for a very, very long time, many years. And um, I have some thoughts about it. I want to compare the two. And big shout out to KNF Concept for sending me the tripod, the S210, to try out and review in this video. They didn't tell me to say anything specific, so this is just my pure, honest review of their tripod and comparing it to something that a lot of beginner YouTubers, filmmakers, photographers gravitate towards, which is just the standard Amazon tripod. So let's get into it. The S210 is 90 bucks whereas the Amazon Basics tripod is $28.96 currently. I think it floats within the $25 to $30 range. So obviously the S210 is three times the price. Does it provide three times the value? We will get to that. The S210's max height is 78 inches, so it is over two feet taller than the Amazon Basics at 60 inches. Um, so depending on what kind of shots you want to execute, whether it's filmmaking or photography, the max height is a lot better on the S210. Both of the tripods are made from uh, aluminum metal and then they have plastic pieces on them. The weight of the tripods is a little different. So the S210 is almost five pounds at 4.74 pounds. And then the Amazon Basics is 2.72 pounds. It doesn't feel that different. I thought it would, but um, they feel relatively similar in terms of weight. And then one of the big specs is the weight limit of the ball head, you know, what can sit on the tripod. Uh, the S210 can house up to 22 pounds of gear, camera, and lens on top of the ball head, which is really incredible for a sub $100 tripod, whereas the Amazon tripod is down to a 6.6 .6 pounds weight limit of what you can have on top. So if you want to put a full frame camera with a very expensive, you know, bigger lens on it, it's probably not going to do great on top of the Amazon Basics tripod, but with the KNF S210, it can house a lot of different cameras, a lot of different larger lenses. So that's what you get with paying a little more money. A couple different things in no particular order. Um, the first thing being the S210 has a really cool feature of a detachable monopod. You would use a monopod to be a little bit more of a mobile filmmaker, maybe in wedding films and things like that. You could definitely use it in photography too, but its main use is you know, uh, filmmaking. And I think it's really cool. I didn't notice it when I was hooking up my monopod and trying it out for the first time, but you can actually use the second extension of the center pole of the tripod. So you can actually get a really long monopod. I didn't notice that, but I'll put that on the screen for you guys to see. I'm unsure if a bunch of other tripods do that, but the Amazon Basics tripod does not have a built-in type monopod with one of the legs. So it's really a cool kind of two-in-one combo deal with the S210 versus just a tripod with the Amazon Basics. Another cool feature of the S210 is the center column can be reversed. So instead of going upwards, you can push it downwards and then you can switch the ball head from mounting on the top to then mounting on the bottom so you have a camera like upside down. What this allows you to do is do kind of low angle photography uh, you could probably do it like above water or something like that, and you can get some cool angles with different shots and things like that. So I think that's kind of cool that it's reversible. And of course, on the Amazon Basics tripod, you can't do that. The center pole is fixed and it is fixed in going upwards and you can't, you know, push the pole downwards or anything like that. So another kind of pro for the S210 over the Amazon Basics. And then just in overall general terms of build quality, um, I must say my Amazon Basics has held up pretty well. Uh, it has one thing that's broken on it, which I'll touch on in a little bit, but 
The S210, I feel like you do get what you pay for. It's almost a $100 tripod, and it just overall feels more, you know, it's more sturdy. It's better quality, you know, different hinges and latches and things like that. And the fasteners, you know, the colored pieces of the tripod. It just overall screams, this is a better quality tripod that may last you longer than something like the Amazon Basics. And the S210 definitely feels more rugged. Um, it feels like it's something that you would want to use outside, whereas the Amazon tripod is just, I don't know, it just screams like, use this inside your studio, which is what I still, to this very day, use my Amazon tripod for. I use it for just, you know, shots like this, which I'm on my desk, of course, during this video with a little Joby tripod, but normally I shoot all of my videos on the Amazon tripod. It really never leaves its spot in my basement here. It just stays, does its job, and I really don't have too many problems with it. The one problem I do have though with the Amazon tripod is I've I've lost one of its feet in you know, moving throughout the years from apartment to apartment and things like that. I should probably look online to get another foot, but the S210 actually has like metal pointed feet, which is good and bad because I'm not really super stoked on using it inside. I was doing some shots for this video in my living room, but then I noticed, you know, the points on the bottom of this thing could scratch up like the wood floor or something like that. So um, that's when I decided to shoot some of these shots outside on the concrete. Clearly though, the S10 would fare very well outside, you know, in an outdoor setting, you know, it could have better grip wherever it's standing, whether it's dirt, sand, rock, or what have you. One thing I really do like about the Amazon tripod though, is it has a built-in handle. Um, part of the reason it does have that though, is that the legs aren't swinging around everywhere, which the S210, that's what happens with that. It comes with the territory of being able to be a more customized tripod, you can swing the legs out super wide if you want. You can put them in all sorts of different positions and it has these latches on each leg to lock it in place, so to speak, on a certain wideness. The Amazon tripod is very fixed to the middle column, so they only can go so wide, all of them at the same time. So um, it's an advantage of the S210 to have more flexibility, but at the same time, I like that there is a handle on the Amazon tripod. It just makes it easier to carry around, things like that. But at the end of the day, I would probably, if I was traveling somewhere, I would take the S210 over the Amazon tripod. The handle just isn't enough uh, to entice me to take the Amazon you know, on a trip or something like that. I feel like the just the many uses of the S210 kind of puts it ahead in taking it with me on a trip. If you're beginning in photography or videography and you're traveling a lot or something like that, or you wanna get different types of shots, maybe something super high up and you can use the monopod and things like that, I would definitely recommend it. Doesn't break the bank necessarily, under a hundred bucks at $90. And I think for 90 bucks, it is a really good value. Not sure it's three times the value of the Amazon tripod, um, the Amazon tripod, it's a good tripod. It's just, it's creaky. And I also hate that about it. It's super noisy, but overall, like I said uh, a couple times, I think at this point, I would recommend both. Um, you know, if you're really, really getting serious and you have super duper heavy duty equipment and things like that, Maybe these tripods aren't for you, but the S210 can hold up to 22 pounds, so that's pretty cool. But overall, I like them both. Gonna use the S210 for more travel stuff. Amazon tripod, it's gonna stay in my basement and help me film YouTube videos. Okay, guys, I hope you guys liked that video again. Shout out to KNF Concept for sending me the tripod to review. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys found this helpful, and all the links and stuff, of course, are in the description. As always, guys, find the gear where it's cheapest for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.